season. Derek Carr is officially a, a New Orleans Saint, and the Saints have kind of just been meh the last couple of seasons, right? Um, Michael uh, Michael Thomas is, is, is allegedly going to be coming back. They do have Alvin Kamara still, even though we don't know what his suspension is going to be with the whole fight during the uh, uh, NFL Pro Bowl last season. But the Saints did finish 7-10 and 10 last season, missing the playoffs. And guys, this year, I think they are exact opposite. I do see the Saints going 10-7 and seven this season. So it's three win improvement from 2022, and a, and a lot of it is on the shoulders of Derek Carr. I think Derek Carr is the make or break point for this team. Michael Thomas isn't. Alvin Kamara isn't. The uh, Cam Jordan isn't. It is it is a wholly 100% sold on Derek Carr. How good can Derek Carr be this season? Can he keep improving like he did in Vegas and Oakland and, and like L.A.? He seems to get better each and every year, so we'll see how good, how much he can adapt to New Orleans this year. But they do open up against the Titans week number one. That is a victory over them. Like I said, I see the Titans taking a lot of steps back this season. Then they travel to Carolina. Monday night football, Bryce Young versus Derek Carr. That is going to probably be must-see TV, honestly, to see if Bryce Young is the man or not in Carolina. I know it's a week two matchup, but we'll definitely start to see that. I think the pair, the Panthers upset the Saints week number two. I'm calling it an upset now because many people think the Panthers are going to be another first overall pick. We'll get into that later. Week number three, they travel to Lambeau Field to take on the Green Bay Packers. A 12-win Green Bay Packers this season. They do lose that game as well. Give us a week four matchup when they play the Buccaneers at home. They beat the Bucs for the first time. They do have the Bucs number, as previously said. Week number five, they travel to New England. New England is a very intriguing team to me. Mac Jones is super excited about Bill O'Brien. Bill O'Brien is arguably one of the best offensive coordinators in the NFL. Not a very good GM or a head coach, but offensive court coordinator. Get that man a beer because he is going to sit down and he is going to put in some magic for you guys. So the New England Patriots are probably the biggest wild card, I think, in the NFL. How good or how bad can they be? Unfortunately, I think they're going to be pretty good. And they do beat the Saints in this week five matchup because Mac Jones is going to go off, baby. Mac Jones is going to go off five touchdowns. Their defense is going to be locked down. DeAndre Hopkins is going to get his bread. You hear what I said there? Did you, did you guys pee that? Give us a week six matchup when they travel to Houston to take on the Texans. That is a dub as well. Thursday night matchup. They're at home versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, it is a time zone change for the Jag for the Jaguars, but it is still an 8-15 start in the Jaguars' head. So this travel is not as big on this Thursday night game, but give me the Saints in this one as well. Give us a week eight matchup versus the Indianapolis Colts at Indy. I will be at this game. Very, very excited about this. Uh, they do beat the Colts. Week number nine, they're back at home versus the Chicago Bears. They do beat the Bears, giving us a four-game winning streak for the Saints. Look out, guys. Hold my beer. And then it comes off when the Vikings, when they go to Minnesota and they lose to the Vikings. Kirk Cousins and the boys at 1 o'clock, they are pretty freaking good. They're pretty good. But unfortunately, the Vikings play a lot of primetime games. Give us week 11 by week. Week number 12, they travel to Atlanta. They lose to the Falcons. And then they beat the Lions at home. They beat the Carolina Panthers at home. And then they beat the New York Giants at home. They travel to L.A. to beat the Ramless Rams on the road, giving us the final two games of the season at Tampa Bay and versus Atlanta Falcons. Both losses, giving them a 10-7 and record on the season. Now, this 